Okay, so like a lot of people, I watched the presidential debate last night. Well, let me rephrase that. I watched a chunk of it. I started the debate. I watched the first half, maybe. I'm not sure when I turned off. Um, it was after the healthcare question, and I've got some opinions on the debate. Opinion one, Chris Wallace did a horrible job at moderating. Yes, he was trying to step into the ring with two boxers, but like a referee in a boxing match, the referee doesn't engage one of the boxers. And Chris Wallace kept engaging Donald Trump. And even Trump said, oh, I'm debating you now instead of my opponent. Um, Because it was just blatant. It was obvious. Uh, The bias was disgusting. And the bias has been that way uh, for a very long time. So I'm starting to think that how they pick moderators needs to be thrown out the window. Uh, Chris Wallace was a very poor choice. Uh, if you're registered for a political party, maybe you should not be in a moderating a debate against the other party. Maybe he would have been a great moderator for the Democratic primaries, but not the presidential debate. Uh, so that's one thing. The other thing was the fact that you had a challenger who was on the stage debating the president, and he called the president a clown. When is this type of discourse allowable to throw insults, you can call names at your opponent in a presidential debate? That's not very presidential, but then again, neither is Joe Biden. And fact of the matter is, neither is President Trump, but President Trump is... President, capital P, underlined in bold letters, President Trump. And because of that, he should be due a level of cordial respect in reference, in reverence to the office. Not to him, but just like the lesson from Band of Brothers... You salute the rank, not the man. Simple as that. You don't call the president on a national platform during the debate. You do not call the president names. That is just stupid. Um, Trump, of course, is not without sins. But he did have a very pointed accusation that... uh, I'm talking about Trump had a good accusation that he threw out many times and of course it was never responded to but I think it holds some significant water Joe, you were in office for 47 years and you did nothing because that is by and large pretty true all these changes that Biden is all of a sudden promising uh, he never worked for, and as a matter of fact, he's worked against a lot of these changes that he was, that Joe Biden said. And Joe Biden says, this man doesn't have a plan. Okay, well, he is not able to explain the plan because of you and Chris Wallace talking over him. He's not able to get any words out because Joe can interrupt Trump, but Trump can't interrupt Joe. So it was very much, all of it was very much against Trump, attacking Trump. Whereas Trump, he had a plan. He's explained his plan. And then Biden dismisses, that's not a plan. Can you imagine what would happen in the U.S. if Trump is actually able to lower the costs of prescription drugs by up to 90%? If he is actually able to pull that off, what would that do to healthcare? It would in truly indeed make it worth uh, 
make it affordable, make it worthwhile. The Affordable Health Care Act is a joke. It's a great idea. But it's a joke in practice. That guy was going straight in the turn lane. What a jackass. Anyway, so this presidential debate, all in all, it was a travesty. But between the two competitors, you know, people are asking, okay, who won the debate? Honestly, we all lost. We lost. That's our national discussion on politics has turned into a boxing match, a barroom brawl. It was really shameful. Now, Dave Barry, a long time ago, in one of his columns, said that the highest form of function of the government is entertainment. And at this point, well, for a long time, that that was very true. Dave Barry was spot on. Um, But at this point, it's gotten to where we're now, uh, like in Gladiator, and amidst all the blood and carnage, are you not entertained? That's where we're at now in America. American politics has gotten so divisive. We're no longer, we're all just Americans. Man, that is becoming further and further from the truth every day. And it's disgusting to me. I'm very deeply disappointed. I don't even want to think about it anymore. 